What's up guys, welcome back to another Let's Go Peach and EV Wi-Fi battle. Today we've rotated teams back to the Beedrill team. I'm um, not really here to talk about the team however. Basically I just wanted to give everyone a bit of an update. Long story short, this is battle number 15 I believe. And um, I've done some planning ahead and I've set myself a bit of a goal to hit this series around battle video 30. So we're exactly halfway into the series. I want to get to at least 30 battles. And then I might take a break, there's stuff I have coming up that I need to do, and I won't be around to upload videos. So, we're going to try and hit 30 battles, welcome to the halfway point, let's go find the battle. What is this? 369, damn she fine. Hoping she can suck it to me one more time. It's a good song. Oh shit, this guy's team. I don't, I don't even know who to lead. See, if I lead Beedrill... He could lead Zapdos, Rhydon. If I lead Rhydon, he could go Starmie. If I go Zapdos, he could go Rhydon. If I go Starmie, he could go Beedrill. Wait a second. This guy has my team. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, substitute the Dragon Knight for Melmetal. And this is literally the team I am using. So we've got a mirror match, basically. There's five Pokemon here I'm using. So no wonder it's so like well-balanced. Anyway, I think I know what we need to do to beat this guy. So, turn one, I really don't know who to lead, but I'm going to go Starmie. The reason for this this lead, literally the sole purpose, is to stop him setting up Stealth Rock. That's, that's all I can do right now. He has, like, three Pokemon that counter me, Muk, Beedrill, Zapdos. But, whatever happens, just, I want to stop him get up his rocks so we'll see let's see who he wants to lead with um, anything else like if he goes Beedrill or Zapdos we'll just switch but as long as he, as long as he doesn't set up Stealth Rock I think we're good who's he go? he goes right on see prediction get off me don't even okay so if I was him I would go Muck or Starmie here so yeah because I'm about to go for Scold and that's what I would do because he has literally the same team. So if I was in on a Starmie and a Starmie was about to scold me, ask yourself what would you do? You would either play Muck because Muck is a great counter for Starmie, or you'd go into your own Starmie to maybe resist the scold and take a burn. But then what happens is you have a mirror match with Starmie, so more people tend to go Muck. We'll see. He's switching out, so we'll see what he wants to do. He goes Muck. Awesome. I'm in your head, man. So, let's try to get some burn. Oh, that's a lot. Whoa, it's a crit. Oh my god, that's a burn. What is happening? That is the hexiest turn one I think I've ever seen. Someone report me. Um, We're not going to stay in. What can we even go into? Ride on Mel Mel? Actually, do you know what? Uh, okay, so, yeah. I'm going to go Muck. So the reason for that is because he's either going to make two plays. I would go for Crunch or Toxic. I can take a Crunch, I can take a Toxic. Yeah, he goes for the Crunch. I'm going to take this very well because he's burned. I didn't really think he would go for a Toxic. Sometimes, you know, if you're predicting to switch out, they do that. Um, I could attack it. Let's get some chip damage because he's very weak. I think we can get rid of this thing quite early. Um, I'm not sure if he'll switch. He might. Um, what would you go into? No, see, he stayed in. He went for Ice Punch. It's not even the same muck as me. Oh, what is this? What is this game? Someone, like, what, what is this? Oh, I don't know. What do I do now? Do I switch? But who do I even go into? I want to keep Melmetal at full. Because I know he's got Dragonite. Okay, no, we're just going to stay in. We're going to try Unfreeze, but I'm scared. Because he's either going to bring in Rhydon or Dragonite to set up. He's going to use Rhydon to set up Rocks or Dragonite to set up Agility. Okay, he bring in Rhydon. And I'm still frozen. That sucks. Mega Drain is not a one-hit KO. Mega Drain's usually a KO after Stealth Rock, but he's at full. So we want to try to get chip damage. So we're going to go Crunch again. Um... And I'm still frozen. God damn it. He sets up his Stealth Rock. 
That's pretty brave though, bringing in Rhydon on a muck. Usually we have Mega Drain. So I'm gonna go into Starmie because I don't want to lose muck right now. It's too early. So I'm gonna into Starmie to take a um, Earthquake. I can take one. I'm a bold natured Starmie. But what this tells me is that the way he played his Rhydon on my muck means that he's not afraid that I have Mega Drain, which means that he doesn't carry Mega Drain. Otherwise, if he did, he would be afraid of it, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to recover, because he's going to switch out, and I want to get my health back. Yep, yeah, I didn't think he would stay on a Starmie. No one in their right mind was staying. So we're going to use that to get our health back. Um, this Muck is slowly going to die from burn. However, I think I know what play I'm going to make. Because I do not believe you have Mega Drain, man. So we're going to go into our own Rhydon. Because he's revealed to me he's a physical muck. Sometimes you get this online. You get mucks that run physical. Because muck has a great attack stat. So yeah, I think we're going to go Rhydon. And wait, what, what the hell? Why is my Rhydon not shiny? Someone been messing around with my shit. I swear to God. This, yo, this Rhydon's not shiny. I put the goddamn wrong one on. God damn it. Anyway. Ah, gonna set up Stealth Rock. I'm gonna call his bluff. Yeah, I was saying that sometimes you get the physical mucks, because Muck has a great attack stat, so people abuse that, they run Ice Punch, all that stuff. Um, if he's running Ice Punch, I don't believe you're running Mega Drain. Because the way you put your ride on in on my Muck just told me you weren't even thinking twice if I had Mega Drain. He's like, oh, I can take whatever this Muck has. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. See, look, Ice Punch. Called your bluff. Raise you 50. I don't know how poker works, but yeah. Um, Gonna set up Stealth Rock. Awesome. I think we're not gonna stay in, though. We're not gonna take the piss, just in case. Man, I was actually a bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. If he had Mega Drain, I would've looked so stupid. So we're gonna go into our own muck. And, um... That's the only play I really want to make right now. I want to keep Mel Metal full HP as possible because I need Mel Metal for Dragonite and Beedrill. So let's go into our own mark. Even though it's frozen, I don't want to waste the whole game trying to unfreeze it. I don't want to focus solely on that because that's like tunnel vision. So we want to try get it to unfreeze, but we don't want to bloody waste the whole breath on it. So he goes for the Ice Punch. I can take that. His muck is slowly dying to burn now, so that's great. Okay, we're just gonna go for Crunch, because... Trying to unfreeze here. He's almost dead. I don't know if he's just gonna stay and attack me. He could try to set up something. He could go back into Rhydon. He could try to set up Dragonite. It's a bit too early to set up Dragonite, but anyway. Um... I thought about running a Fire move. I thought about running, um... I thought about running Fire Punch. Because Fire Punch is pretty good on muck over Fire Blast. Speaking of fire moves, there's some fire moves in the game that's supposed to unfreeze you. Unfortunately, Fire Blast is not one of them. So I'm stuck frozen. He switches out. He goes into Dragonite. Oh, he might try to sell up. I wouldn't because my Mel Metal is still at full. So I'm just going to stay in and go for Toxic. In case he sets up an Agility and I can unfreeze. Oh, he goes for the EQ. Okay. Cool, he gets a kill. That was a good play though. He was testing the water there, and that's what you should do. Had he set up an agility, I would have just bring in Mel Metal and one hit care with Ice Punch. Earthquake is a free hit care, so there's no reason to set up an agility this early. You're not gonna care me. So, because of that, I'm now gonna play a double switch. I don't believe he's gonna stay in on me. If he does, for whatever reason, he's gonna go for Earthquake. So Zapdos resist it, because, you know, flying type. But I'm also testing the water a bit here because he might have Fire Blast. I don't know what kind of set this is. Oh, he stayed in. Oh, what? this makes me wonder what he went for. Maybe he did have Fire Blast then. No, he just went for Earthquake. Is he not afraid of me? If I clicked Ice Punch, I would have killed him. Anyway, I'm going to U-turn because he has a ride on and I'm not falling for the T-Bolt bait. Yep, he switches out. Let me guess. Yeah, he goes into Rhydon. So, 
Okay, that's good. We want to get the hell out. We're not staying in on this thing. Um, I think I know what we can do. We can go Starmie. And... I think his muck is relatively dead. Remember it being really low. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to recover. Get our health back. I doubt he's going to stay in. Highly doubt it. Yeah, he switches out. He'll probably go muck, so we'll get our health back, and then, yeah, okay, so he went muck, we'll get our health back, we'll be at full, and we can finish him off. Actually, I think Burn will finish him. He's got low health, right? Does it finish? No, he lived on a bloody smidge of health. At least we're at full health, now we can finish it with a Scald. He's definitely not going to reserve it. you got to be crazy to reserve that. So yeah, we get a care, finally. There are no mucks on this battlefield anymore. Both mucks are down. Um, he'll probably go Beedrill. Beedrill is just... Come on, look at this juicy Starmie, okay? Who would not go Beedrill? Yep, brings Beedrill in. Okay. Um, okay, so he's either going to go U-turn or x I kind of think... Wait, do I want to go Zapdos? Do I have any other plays? I don't know. I still want Melmetal for Dragonite. I don't want to put it in just yet. In if he goes x I might be in trouble. I kind of want him to go U-turn. However, I think Zapdos, yeah. Zapdos is still the better player. If he goes x after I've taken Stealth Rock damage, I'm going to be in range of Poison Jab. So, that's a problem. I'm hoping he U-turns here. But then again, he's got Ride on. Either way, he, he's he got me here. He's either going to U-turn into Rhydon or x me into the point of Poison Jab. Yeah, he goes x -Zer. Okay, so that's not good because I don't know if I can take Stealth Rock again. However, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to let Zapdos die. I'm going to go into Mel Mel because the Poison Jab is the only play he can do. It's literally the only tank that can kill me. And Outrage, but I doubt he would go Outrage. I've got Mel Metal. So, if he does go Poison Jab, I can use Zapdos for later as fodder. Yeah, he went Poison Jab, so I can use Zapdos for Switch later. It's not seeing much use since he has a ride on still. Um, I kind of want to go EQ. I want to go Earthquake because he has Starmie, but then he has Zapdos, so... Yeah, let, do you know what, let's just go EQ. Because he's going to U-turn on me. He does have Dragonite, and he does, as, he does have Zapdos, but... I would play Starmie, personally. My Starmie can resist double Iron Bash and burn it with a Scold. I might be wrong. Let's see what he does. Nope, he goes Starmie. Awesome. I am so in your head. Okay, so that is a good chunk of damage. Look at that. That is a timid Starmie. So the, I'm going to make the play now. I'm going to go into Zapdos and I'm going to fodder it so I get a clean switch. If he goes for an attack move here, he's stuck at that health. The best play he could have gone for is Recover. I'm going to fodder Zapdos. Let's see if he went for Recover. Oh, he went for an attack. That is so good. Now you're stuck at that health. Now I'm going to do back to you what you did to me. We're going to go Beedrill. We're going to go x <laughs> I could U-turn. Um, I know he has Rhydon. I know he has Dragonite. I think everything's in range of Beedrill, so... Except Zapdos. I know he hasn't played Zapdos. Let's go x -Scissor. Wherever he plays, I would like to get x -Scissor on. Zapdos, Dragonite. Um, he has Rhydon. You could always go into Rhydon. He's going to switch out. So we'll see what he wants to play. Okay, it goes right on. Okay, um, I don't think x is going to be doing too much, so we might have to U-turn out. Um, I know I can come into rocks a few more times. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Is that a crit? That, w that wasn't even a crit. He's in range of drill run now. Damn. 
you got to think about this. This Beedra was a jolly nature. It doesn't have its ability, which was adaptability. That x scissor did way too much to a ground type. He must be um, adamant, not impish. Yeah, he must be adamant. He goes Dragonite. Um, I don't know if that's in range of Poison Jab. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to get out because um, he can't outspeed me. Dragonite don't have priority in this gen. They don't have extreme speed. It's not a thing, so... He's either going to go, you know, Outrage Earthquake. So we're going to U-turn out. Get the little bit of chip. I don't mind what he goes for because Beedrill can now come back in late and kill it. So we want to keep Rhydon for the Zapdos. We probably don't need Melmetal anymore. Uh, I mean, he's Beedrill still a problem, but... Do we play Melmel? Because... I'm not, I think he's gonna just go for EQ. He won't go for Outrage. I'll be, I'll be happy if he goes for Outrage. He goes for EQ. Man, he's been spamming EQ all game. That's a lot of damage. I don't know if the next one's gonna kill me. Um, that's troublesome. I don't know. I wanna go Ice Punch in case he recovers. Yeah, in case he goes for Roost, but... I really don't know if he can kill me. I'm hoping not. Either way, Beedrill will come back in and finish him off. But, would he go into star me? Hopefully not. No, he stays in. Awesome. So, I was a bit worried in case... Oh, no. I die anyway. <laughs> okay, didn't matter. I was a bit worried in case I went for Ice Punch and he went into star me or something. Okay, let's go back into Beedrill. Let's finish this thing off. I'm going to be faster. I'm going to kill it with a Poison Jab. I can still come in on Stealth Rock um, two more times. I wonder if he's Beedrill's running that as well. Because if he's running regular Beedrill, he can only come in three times, whereas I can come in four. What? Aqua Jet? Oh my god, who does that? What is that? Like. Oh my god, that is a first for me. That is something I have never seen before. That annoys me actually, that's messed me up. Because I don't know now how many times I can come in on rocks. Oh, that is really annoying. Okay, it goes B drill. So this is going to be a speed tie. I believe drill run is a KO. And I don't think I want to switch into anything. I don't think I have a choice here, I just got to attack. I don't have a choice. The options I'm left with. He's going to go Drill Run. And I can't go into Rhydon. And I can't go into Starmie. Because he's a Bug type. So we got to go Speed Tie. Oh, our speed. Awesome. And I hit. Oh my god, that could have not gone any better. Had he outsped me, I would have been in trouble. So we outspeed. We get the kill. He's down to his Starmie and Zapdos, I believe. So he's finally playing the Zapdos, he's got way too much health. I don't think I can come in on Stealth Rock one more time. He's Aqua Jet me and it just messed me up. I think I'm going to U-turn out because i still got Ride on. And um, uh, man, he has Star me, which is annoying. I kind of wanted Beedrill for his Star me. We're going to U-turn out, we're going to see if we can come back in later. Oh, it goes for Protect. Oh, he's messed himself up now. I was just going to U-turn into Ride on. But now I'm actually just going to Poison Jab him. The one thing about Protect is it kind of messes your predictions up. Because now I'm going to change my play. But I don't know if he knows that. I want to stay and go for Poison Jab. And try to get the Poison. He'll probably finish me off with something. I don't know. Unless he U-turns on me. If he U-turns on me, that will be great. I can X's at the star me. Okay, that's awesome. That's in range of points. Oh, he, for, he went for Toxic. Oh, I know why he did that. Okay, I think I won. I've won. Poison jab this, X's are that. Yep, he cancelled. The reason he made that play is he predicted me to U-turn, go into Rhydon, and he wanted to get a Toxic on my Rhydon. He was trying to play one turn ahead. He messed himself up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's battle. I think that was a really good battle. 
So yeah, subscribe for more battles, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one.